안녕하세요. I'm Sue. Today I'm gonna tell you a story which is written by a Korean artist named Jensum. So let's get started. The Hand, the Monkfish. Once upon a time, a beautiful baby girl was born into a wealthy family. She was as beautiful and flawless as a magnolia. Her mother loved her so much that she pledged that she would do anything for her. She said she would even present her the sun and the moon. When the baby started eating solid foods, her mother was thrilled. My little baby, I would feed you everything you want to eat. Open your mouth. Ah. When the baby started walking, her mother ran hurriedly to where she was. My sweetheart, I will carry you. Come, hold on my back. After raising the baby by always providing her with everything she needed, the mom said, My beloved child, I need some rest now. Can you give me some food? Then the child spoke. Mom, I have no hands. I never use them, so they vanish. Then, my sweet child, can you carry me on your back? My sweet child, my legs hurt. Then the child replied, Mom, I have no feet. You always carry me on your back. I've never even stepped on the ground, but instead, I have a huge mouth. And she opened her humongous mouth. Then the mother shouted in anger, You weren't my perfect baby after all. You're like a useless monkfish. All you can do is eat what I feed you. You can't do anything on your own. Then the mother threw the baby into the far away sea. Ever since that day, it's been said that fishermen can hear a baby's cry on spooky, windy days out on the sea. I do wrong. Please come and get me. Please come back and get me. Please. Mom. Yeah. So the story that I have read to you just now is connected to Netflix Korean drama. It's okay to not be okay, which is just released in June. Following the massive success of its fairy tale romance, the production company has decided to publish the five storybooks which were shown in a series. 